Hello and welcome to this lens tutorial from Canon. I'm Rob Crow. That's Jenny Hare. Hello. Now one of the things that really fascinates me about photography is its ability to peek into worlds we wouldn't normally experience. We can go outside our normal visual spectrum, look into the infrared, the ultraviolet, and we can play with time. We can freeze moments that we'd never normally experience or extend time with long exposures. And there's another really fascinating area. That's the world of the very, very small. That's where macro lenses come in. A macro lens is usually defined as one that can focus so close that we can record an object at life size. So if I have something in front of the lens this big, on the rear of the camera it will record on the sensor at the size it is, or even larger. And we're going to look at some very special lenses today, including one that can take us to up to five times life size. Macro photography really tests everything. We're working very close to our subject, and that means that our depth of field is really minimised. We might need to work at very small apertures in order to increase that depth of field as much as we possibly can. But at the same time, we might want very fast shutter speeds, very short times to freeze action in insects and also to avoid camera shake. When we work at these sorts of magnifications, the tiniest little tremor in our hands is going to be really exacerbated. Some of these lenses have technologies in them that can help us with that, and we'll look at those. And then critical to macro photography is focal length because that's going to determine our working distance, how physically far away we have to be from the subject. Let's have a look at the 60mm here. It's an EFS 60mm macro lens. Its closest working distance is around 20 centimetres and that's going to give us one-to-one -one magnification. If we come back to the 100mm lens to get the same magnification, we can be working at 30 centimetres. And that extra bit of distance could be really critical if you're working with a, a timid insect, say. But let's have a look at what some of these lenses can do. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Rob. What have you got for us? I've got a few images here for us to have a look through. Okay. Starting with this one here, shot on the 60mm. Wow, macro. that's really close. So that is yeah. the EFS 60mm, and we say the photographer's probably around 20 centimetres away. That's the, the closest working distance of that lens, and that looks pretty close. Close enough. To yeah. see it smile, yeah. And again, on the 100mm macro, he looks really comfortable in there. He's not about to jump away. Quite a hard shot to get because this sort of subject might be moving around before you manage to catch it. And it looks like this was shot handheld. One of the interesting things about this 100mm macro lens is it has a system called Hybrid IS. Conventional image stabilisation systems just correct for the angular vibrations when we're, when we're shooting. That's very useful, and this lens does that as well, but it also corrects critically for shift. So when we're moving this way and this way, and that becomes very important because if we were photographing a mountain range, an inch to the left or the right isn't going to make a big difference. But at these kind of magnifications, it's really critical. So that hybrid IS is really helping. You can actually shoot something like this handheld, which is pretty incredible for, for this sort of magnification. This image here was shot on the 65mm macro, the fixed lens. OK, so it's the MP65 that can get us in really close, up to five times. What is that, Jenny? Actually, that is fish scales. Really? Believe it or wow. not. <laughs> I've never seen fish scales quite like that, but I can imagine if I was a fabric designer or, or someone in that sort of industry, looking at that might give me a whole new inspiration, some ideas. And that's the sort of things I'm talking about. When we work with macro, we can get into these worlds. Let's have a look at that MPE 65. Like we said, it is a specialist lens. It works in a slightly unusual way. Normally, when we focus a lens, we turn the barrel or we rely on our autofocus system. Well, this lens has a fixed focus and we actually focus it by moving closer or further away from the subject. That might seem a little bit unusual, but actually it's quite common. When we work in macro, we nearly always want to get our maximum magnification, so we'll turn the focus on our lenses to maybe their closest working distance and then physically move the lens backwards and forwards or on a tripod until our subject becomes sharp. So, Jenny, I've got a subject for you here. Ooh, Just okay. let me arrange it. It's a bit fiddly. Luckily, I always carry tweezers and a red silk pillow. <laughs> so that's macro photography, as well as some maybe obvious applications for scientists, engineers and naturalists. It lets us all look at the world really close up. Why not pick up a macro lens and explore the world in miniature? Oh, I've got it. It's a grain of rice. That's right. I bought you lunch, Jenny. Achoo! <laughs>